of 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 being comfortable. I feel like if people already have chosen their place, then it's it's the search that counts that makes it exciting and that makes it uh beautiful. And if they have already chosen then I've I feel like that I can relate as well because uh I love everybody and, and every race, every position and I think that we're all one, we're all connected somehow and that's just the beauty of the ha- searching for the answer and searching for the truth. So it's like it, you said that curiosity is so alive and animated for you as a process, as a guidance, so to speak, so that curiosity keeps us open um, and that when it's all defined, curiosity may be a little less, but you're okay with that person deciding to define things and and to live with kind of a sense of certainty, even though it's not your own um, yes. kind of style. Yes, I'm that's so actually... And no, it's 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 quite complicated. Com- the world is all complicated. Yeah, but that's probably the closest that I could that I they, that what you said. <laughs> the, so in the process of you know you you at the beginning of this uh, interview you said something about that you want people to not live in the fear and stress that they create or that they uh, passage into, and. You said that almost as if you had discovered a series of answers or experiences that would help people realize that attaching to stress and anxiety was really inessential and not that all that helpful. So what, what, what's what been your learning process? That, that, or what, what insights or what spiritual moments or transportations or elevated communions have you had that make you say, no, don't live in that stress. Don't grasp onto that anxiety. Through through my my my, my years of of my career, I have gone ups and downs in my spiritual growth. And who hasn't at some point yeah. in their life? Um, but what really came down was the fact of of the the beautiful it's just the beautiful reality of of what my little brother uh, said he is uh, his name is Ilya and what kept me grounded in my spiritual path is what he writes in his books yeah. i sometimes i feel like that if i'm if i'm missing a piece of a puzzle i always search uh, through his aphorisms and it just makes me just feel more comfortable in in in, in that where I am where I'm going. And wow. It could be I think every person needs to have that some sort of bit of guidance. It could be a family member, it could be a, some of a, 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 a guru or it could be a friend or but someone who you can lean a shoulder on and just trust them, and I feel by doing that, you will grow more and more, and believe more and more uh, in this in the spiritual unknown realms. And that's that's how I became more comfortable in my spiritual paths and and more confident is by just reviewing some of the the little beautiful gifts that my little brother sometimes write in his books and I feel that brings me down to the the center of, of you know of connection I guess. Wow, I've never I've had not read any of your brother's books. Are they published or available or no? Oh yes, yes. They're pu- they're published and he's working on his uh, uh second and third book but it, it's it's on his website as well, uh, ilyapoetry.com. And from that point, I feel that he has just some sort of message that he wants to send to the world, and I feel so connected with him, and we're so very close, and I f- just I feel so alive when I'm around him. Wow. How much younger is he than you? He is uh, about seven, seven years younger than me, so about 11, 11 years old. So can you spell out his website so that um, people would be able to read his post, his poetry? It's um, 
ilyapoetry.com. It's I L I A P O E T R Y dot com. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So now people can look that up, including me. Can you give an example of um, some of what he wrote and the, the way it might have addressed a dilemma or a discomfort inside of you, something that you are willing to share so that people can learn, but I don't want you to feel awkward in disclosing things that are your private world? Oh, gosh, there's <laughs> what, Iyad, what Iyad does. It's, it's his... He's absolutely so extraordinary because he's unlike any other child that you've ever, ever would meet because he's so intellectual and so just out of his box. To me, I feel like he's a, like a 60-year-old stuck in an 11-year-old body because mm. he sees life so different and he sees life with uh, with meanings and, and stories and and. When I try to find a meaning to a story, I always just ponder on his aphorisms. Sometimes I don't remember one at the particular point, but he is just so many people praise him and for, for his his little just his humorism, his uh, his light to the, what he brings, and I totally think that he's a blessing to me that I. I'm so happy that he's my brother. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'm having this vision of uh, your brother, very young, sitting in front of one of your amazing paintings and just as if he's being teleported or transmitted right into the painting and experiencing it and then being able to bring the words the words back oh. to his poetry. Has that ever happened? Oh, yes. Actually, there are quite a few times that that happened because uh, – Sometimes where he actually loves to uh, paint abstract as well. He loves to just write uh, paints in the words on the canvases. He likes to just maneuver these universes together. It's just absolutely extraordinary. But I had to, he was so inspiration to me that I, I took him and his this whole idea of his of his philosophy and actually painted in some of the paintings, and uh, so if if anyone is is will, will find him, he has that little presence in some of the paintings. It's a little mystery and a little puzzle. <laughs> oh really? Well, can you can you tell us? Can you can you guide our eyes as we look at your artwork? In what way? Where? How? Can you reveal the mystery? There are. There are some paintings uh, that has his features in it, and there's some paintings that has uh, some poetry in it that I, I that I put inside the paintings, such as um, the, it's called the, the creation, where it's uh, very very just mysterious space like atmosphere, and there are like light glowing from the center, and all around the universe there are his uh, sentences and sometimes his philosophies and his hidden words that he spoke of inside the the actual universe that um, I written um, like a secret message and just those little things that 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 I do all my paintings I I feel that he's definitely an inspiration to me. What you. Do you have any sense of why you have been, I don't know, chosen to portray the mysteries and the secrets and the profound revelations in the form of painting? And your brother, of course, is in poetry. But why why do painting? Is it, I know we could reduce it down to it being your skill and your talent. But, I mean, way beyond that, any ideas about why that is your vehicle of communicating? When I was younger, at three or four years old, I always experimented. I experimented with with food, with just clay, and uh, sometimes, you know, a little bit of the math and science. And I've experimented with as much as I can that my hands could get on. But when I just picked up the charcoals and those oil pastels, 
when I the first time where I doodled on the walls and the tables and the floors, I wow. felt that the colors to me meant more than the numbers itself or the 